Yeah. Memory will usually last longer than any other computer component. Also, memory problems are less common than other computer problems. This is why when we run into computer memory problems, they are harder to diagnose. Today at DIY in 5, we are going to assist you in diagnosing some of the more common PC RAM problems and help you fix them. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and this is DIY in 5. Hey everyone, I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and you are watching DIY in 5, the show where we make tech simple enough that you can do it yourself in five minutes or less. If you watched episode 205, you probably noticed that RAM problems can mimic SSD problems. However, their impact on your usage can differ significantly. RAM is where our computers store temporary fast access data between the processor and the storage. In a RAM failure scenario, there is generally no workaround until your faulty RAM module is removed or replaced. I've already mentioned that RAM failures are the least common PC failures, but when it happens, what causes it? If you've had your PC for a while and never upgraded or physically handled the memory, then a RAM failure may have been induced by excessive heat, a power surge, or possibly an endemic defect within a memory chip that just needed time to finally manifest. The most root cause of failure is actually physical damage to a RAM module. This happens during handling and installation of new memory modules. The slightest pressure in the wrong place when inserting a module into a socket can nudge or dislodge a component. Though these types of RAM failures typically show right away, like when you power on the system. Another common failure is compatibility. Installing the wrong type of memory into your PC or memory that's not pre-tested and guaranteed to work is the number one root cause of memory issues reported to technical support call centers. So what does a RAM failure look like? The infamous blue screen of death could be a sign that there is an issue with your RAM. Failing RAM can cause blue screens, and if the PC doesn't blue screen, it could just freeze with the display frozen on your last task. If you hear beep codes when your PC posts, it could be a telltale sign that there's a problem with your memory. This usually happens when you first install memory and there may be an LED light or number codes displayed on the motherboard that indicate if it's a memory issue. If you have a major brand PC that came with memory pre-installed like Dell, Lenovo, or HP, beep codes can give multiple reasons for what is wrong with our PCs. Each of these manufacturers has tools you can use to help identify the beep or error code to see if it's related to RAM. If your PC is experiencing intermittent failures, like the blue screen of death or freezes, there are a few online tools you can use to help diagnose if your PC pain points are in fact caused by a RAM issue. These tools include a built-in Windows memory diagnostic tool, Memtest64, and Memtest86. These tools are meant to stress test your RAM, attempting to force failures and identify the memory address locations. The Memtest tool will be more powerful than the built-in Windows tool, but the Windows tool is built in and easily accessible as a starting point. If any of these tools find an error, it may be an intermittent issue that only appears when using a particular program or when the system hits a certain temperature. One common troubleshooting tip is to try installing only one memory module at a time. This may reveal which one of the modules is faulty. Reseating the RAM in the socket is also a good idea to be sure the pins are making good electrical contact. That's a good time to blast the sockets with some compressed air to eliminate contamination as well, aka dust. Sometimes this can correct the error. If not, you'll need to replace the RAM altogether, either by replacing one bad module with the exact type of RAM you currently have, or buying a whole new kit. Or in the case of incompatibility, purchasing the right kit for your PC. And while you're in there installing the new RAM, be sure to avoid any static discharge and give that PC a good cleaning. Static discharge causes damage to electrical components like RAM. Finally, make sure your BIOS stays up to date, much like your malware protection. Manufacturers periodically update the BIOS version to resolve issues and improve compatibility. If you found this video helpful, give a like and a share. But if Death has just visited your PC, please don't send him my way. My PC is running just fine for now. Knock on all the wood. <laughs> Again, my name is Trisha Hirschberger, and you have been watching DIY in 5.